how to set up a wise account to send the money hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i am going to show you how you can set up your wise account to send some money to each other or to the members of your family it is very easy and very simple all you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to visit wise.com then we have two choices Either you go ahead and log into your account if you have an account already or you are going to click on register to open up or sign up for a new account. In my case, I will go ahead and open up a new account. Here we have the choice of entering the traditional email address then proceeding to the next steps or we can make everything faster by creating an account using the help of Google account, Facebook accounts and also Apple accounts. Now choose your method and go ahead and set your uh, login info. Here I have used a or I am going to choose this email address to set up my account. A little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video such as email addresses, phone numbers are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. So make sure to put or your own information or your own data to get the exact payment and also your money will not go and waste on other accounts so when you finish that click on next here we have the type of account that we are going to open right there we have the personal account and we have also the business account so feel free to choose one of these two for those who doesn't know uh, the uh, efficient or the uh, benefits for of these two accounts or these two types the personal account is set for normal people to send, spend and receive money around the world. Here we have a fee very, as I can say, it is reduced uh, in the regarding of the business account. Because the business account will receive a lot of money because it will be managing the payments and also the spending of your businesses and also the freelance work that you are going to set internationally of course. Uh, so go ahead and make your choice either of the personal account or the business one. In my case, I am going with the personal account since I am going to use it to send money and receive money to my family and friends. Now, here we have the um, country of choice. Choose your country carefully right here and then we are going to set the city. So we are going to set a random country which is the United States and the city is Alabama, click on continue, now it will demand from you to set up your phone number. Go ahead and put your phone number, you will receive a code and that code is the verification code. So when you finish that or put the verification code in the place, you will get a link and also an email demanding you to download the app within your phone. Either you are on the iOS or you are on Android. You must download the app and proceed to the other steps, which is creating the password. After we have created the password, we have now accessed the dashboard of WISE. Now we can see that we have the uh, WISE logo and we have the balance. Here I have already set an account before, so everything is set and nothing is empty. As you can see here, we have the recent transactions and etc. Now we have the dashboard. We have the send button, which is our subject of today's video. We have the add money, which is the most necessary part to send some money to get the account filled with money and also send some money. And we have the request options. Now we have right here the types of account or the currencies. You can add a European account or European currency, which is the Euro. And also you can add the US dollars, for example. And if you want to add another foreign, uh, for example, currency, click on the plus sign right there. It will take you right here to a uh, open a balance or a jar. Right there we have a balance, which is the first option. Send, receive and spend money with this balance. And we have also the jar. Set aside money for whenever you need it. Now we are going to obviously create a balance. On that balance, we have a plus 40 currency we have from uh, the Australian dollar to the West African franc now you can set whatever you want for example the British pound you can go ahead and uh, get it but they are going to set uh, the 
British account or the British pound right here and you can get some account details right there go ahead and select it and here we have it now we are going to wait for it and as you can see we have the uh, Great Britain pound account or currency right there it is set within the uh, two currencies that we have already so everything is ready whenever you want to add a currency click on add another currency to your account and here we have it now let's proceed to how you can send money the first thing that you need to do is to add some money within your account so your balance will be set right there you are going to click on add money here you are going to set the currency and the amount that you are going to or need to add or top up your account with for example i'm going to set a 20 euros right here then you are going to set a payment method we have debit card credit card authorized payment from your bank account bank transfer ideal and so forth or Klarna I'm going to use a credit card for example and here it will be setting the credit card fee which is up to 0.28 euro and right there we have the amount you will pay up to right here 20.28 20 euro when you set everything you are going to click on continue now we have the validation which will be automatically and we are going to set the payment right there go ahead and put the visa card master mastercard and maestro put the card number expiry date and the security code pay it and you will get the uh, amount into your balance after you have topped up your or uh, add some money to your balance you will see it right there and here we have it in my case i have 10 euros and something so we are going to click on send click on send and here this is the step that you are going to send money to you will see right here the recipient and you can uh, select one of them if you have already some recipients and if you don't simply go ahead and type their uh, wise name or wise tag and also the email address the phone number and whatever now if you don't have a recipient yet simply click on add a new recipient now we have the recent currencies you can go ahead and use the currency that you are going to send the money to you who have a lot of choices and also a lot of options click on euro and here you are going to add the recipient search on wise or you can enter a bank detail you can find by putting the wise tag email or phone number or if you are going to use a phone or a bank you can go ahead and add yourself for example someone else or business or charity I'm going to set someone else and here we have these steps the email now we have the recipient bank account inside Europe outside Europe it is up to you you can put the full name right here and the IBAN this is for the inside Europe and for the outside you're going to set something for example for the full name swift slash BIC code and the IBAN slash account number when you finish you are going to click on confirm and then you are going to uh, see the amount or set the amount that you want to send and then you are going to review it automatically and the final step is to pay it that was all for today's video i hope that you have enjoyed the content hope to see you soon on the next one